Okay, I'm back, and I was at, I'm at the point where now I'm going to assign permissions to um, to myself to be able to mount the other partitions, <laughs> the other sections of my hard disk that have different operating systems that are Linux installed on my computer. Um, one of those happens to be Ubuntu. Now, the way you do this is you first have to make a directory that um, into which you're going to tell the system to place uh, the contents of the other partition in. Because the way uh, Linux works is that it will open up Conqueror here because I think it's a much better presentation. That forward slash is the base of my directory and then here's the home directory and there is the user jack and there are the contents of the folder. If I right click on this and I go to the properties it shows jack. The owner can read and write the file. Members of jack's group, users can read only read the file and other people that are, have no association with the file and are not in the group can still read but they can't save it. Okay. Now, the way that, that uh, the way that uh, you you uh, first give Linux the instruction that you want to um, as to where you want to mount your your hard drive is is in is in a file called it, it, that relies in the etc directory called um, file system fstab which I think means file systems tab. It's that file right there. It's in the etc directory. And in this presentation, the way Dolphin does it, where they have this red in the root, that's backwards. That really should be a forward slash. And if I were logged in as root and I clicked on home, that should be red and that should be the root directory. Okay? Um, don't know why they did that, but nonetheless, that's their choice. Now, I opened up this file systems tab file, and basically, so far I added an entry for um, for my Ubuntu partition, which happens to be the 12th, now the 11th slice. So my disk has been sliced into 11 parts, and that is actually the 11th part. The, um, you can only have four major parts of a hard disk, but you can slice each one of those major parts into smaller parts, and so, uh, and the wrapper around everything that's stored within the fourth part in my system is not mountable, but the contents within it are mountable, and so that is the twelfth part right there, and that's one of my Ubuntu installs. Now, what I've done so far is I've said to the system, my Ubuntu partition happens to to rest on the 12th partition and it is in Linux you, you just say dev SDA or HDA whatever the case may be that's being used in your system and the number if you have two disks it would be dev SDB 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know CD-ROM is represented differently that's dev SCD0 okay and then you see where you want the files to show up, and I have a directory called Ubuntu 1 up at the top. There it is. Okay. And then I say use the riser file system, use defaults, and, and 00. 00 is just has to do with how often is the file system going to be checked for errors. And I'm seeing 0 for never, so that's good, right? <coughs> sure. Well, probably is. It'll probably be okay. It'll let me know anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do... No, it won't don't let me know anyway. I'm wrong about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to mount that um, that other partition so I, can act, so I can at least have the first start at accessing my files. And there's this little My Computer icon up here. Double click on it. And if everything went right, when I actually do the dev SDA 12, that should mount without an issue. But I am having an issue. Um, I don't know why it isn't mounting. It's just 
behaving as if it's not there. If I click on my own, that's the way it's supposed to react. Okay. Another way I can get a clue to what's going on is if I go to click on this 26 gigabyte hard drive and it says error occurred while accessing blah 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 the system mount only root can can mount that. Now I haven't really seen that before in riser file systems. If I go into Ubuntu, it's going to be part of this overall compatibility issue. If I go into Ubuntu and I say um, the same exact file systems tab entry, in fact this, this is from my Ubuntu directory, and I do that for, um, that's my Ubuntu file systems tab file, and if I, if I do it from Ubuntu with the same exact settings, and, and I try to access the hard drive from there. It'll let me do it. It won't give me that error. I'll be I'll I'll be just fine. No problem. I can get into those directories, but I can't here, and I wonder why that is. I actually don't know why that is. Um, in this case, um, so I could waste some time trying to look things up, or I could try my next one called uh, for Fedora, which is uh, used to be called Red Hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process I did before with uh, that one. And why am I moving on? Well, maybe this will be interesting. So I do that, and then I uh, press the up arrow to go back to where I was before. The file system on my Fedora happens to be the ext4 file system. So I go dev sda9 Fedora. I happen to know beforehand that is on the. <laughs> the ninth partition. I should ought to take my caps off. Go over here and I'm saying I want to mount my um, all the files in my Fedora partition. In the Fedora directory. And I also want to make sure the last line is blank. So I like that. Now I have um, let's look. Let's look at this. Let's look at the base. This is Sam in the the base of my file system. Do I do I see any folder here? This is Fedora. No, I don't. Well, then I'm just have to do something about that. So I'm going to make a directory. And I call that one Fedora. Use the same spelling that I had before, and I'm going to put a slash in front of it to indicate that I want to do it from the base instead of within my own home directory. So I'm done there. Now let's look and see if that actually applied. There it is. It has appeared. Okay, now let's see what happens when I go over here to Dolphin on the side and I try to go into my Fedora directory. And again it says only root can, can mount. And again that's not happening in my other um, system. Now I gotta, you know, now I gotta wonder why, why is that? Why is one Linux system behaving differently than the other? And I still haven't gotten to the interesting point that I want to make. Now I'm going to look at this and look at my user permissions. This is not going the way I thought it would with this one. Let's see if I could do, what are the expert options? Maybe if I just edit this thing. How about that? Details. OK, I have a user ID of 500. I'm in the the users group I'm in the disk group whatever that means I'm in the Fedora group but why am I not in the users group well, I am in the users group um, what a waste of time. Okay, yeah, I'm 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 bottled. So now I'm gonna go look for an answer. And this is the kind of thing that happens in Linux all the time. Okay, so SUSE can't mount partitions. Uh, probably mount uh, if 
fault. This was not a problem of uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, don't know how to. Okay, I'm just gonna look at this thing. Um. Asleep. I just can't get a presentation done.